Look, we're just scratching the surface right now of some of the troubles that OpenAI has been battling right now. Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to the Reality Script. Uh, you're looking at the creepy Sam Altman, the CEO of OpenAI, the leading AI company with its chat GPT and LLMs or large language models. Guys, every single time I go to look into a topic, and I don't mean um, 99 out of 100, 100 out of 100, the creepiness box, Pandora's creepiness opens, and it leads me to more and more strange things, items that don't make sense to us from those that existed in, quote, the old world. You know what I'm going to say? No real world could keep doing this. As the world gets faker, it's better news for us. I'm not going to say anymore, we get realer. Well, I'll say it sometimes. It's a bad way of saying something. It's a bad way of saying it's the best news of all time. So let me, one last time, there's not one time where I sensed that this looks like something we should look into, I should make a video about. Not one time where then I spent the two, three, four hours or whatever, or started to make the video and then said, you know, there's nothing here. There's nothing to, to there's nothing to report on. There's nothing that my people we're gonna be one. My people, nothing we would be interested in. No, it always gets creepier, as Jeff would say. It always leads to more gematria. It always leads to the nine paired with the other number. It always leads to the magenta. There's it never happens where oh, there's nothing here. Every not only it, whatever I look into, it doesn't just hold up in terms of being interesting, in terms of quote reporting on it or making a video about it. It gets weirder every single time. No real world could keep doing that. Matt, that scares me. It shouldn't scare you. The more fake the world's presentation becomes, trust me, it's the best news of, of all time to us. It could not possibly be better. What you don't want. It's for the world's presentation or the not Nilk's presentation to be real and legitimate and believable. That's bad news for us. But get the, the good, maybe it'll never happen. That's great news for us. It's been an interesting couple of weeks for OpenAI. They've really sort of lost a lot of the trust of the general public who's paying attention to what OpenAI is doing. I mean, who needs to watch drama on TV anymore when the most fascinating drama on the planet is happening over at OpenAI and in the general AI world right now? And he had the opportunity to interview Helen Toner. Helen Toner was one of the board members back in November of last year when all of the crazy stuff went down over at OpenAI. If you remember, Sam Altman was fired by the board and then the board was essentially removed and then Sam Altman was brought back in. Well, Helen Toner was one of those people that was on the board that voted to get rid of Sam. Oh no, the magenta paired with the emerald green again, but this is nothing new to us. We, we covered this OpenAI logo. It's actually associated with the chat GPT about a year ago. Helen Toner. Come on, reality script. Get real. Toner cartridges <laughs> for your inkjet. Helen Toner. Come on, man. Come on. Just up insulting our intelligence, reality script. Guys, you don't want me to keep playing little parts of the Matt Wolf video. I'm just telling you, it's like a soap opera, okay? that This is what reality does. You, this is the best news for us. You you want the same repeating scripts and themes, and it can't ever be, oh, if it was quiet and clandestine, and this thing is going to take over the world, and it doesn't have sentience. No, the same themes come forth. The soap opera theme, oh, Sam Altman's out, oh, the board says this, and then they're fighting, and this person goes over to another company and says, what OpenAI is doing is not safe. They're not practicing the proper safety protocols, or they're working with the Chinese, or it's the bold and the beautiful, but the chat GPT LLM version. So the reality script, and it always has to play out in the same way. I mean, this is great news. There's nothing to worry about here with AI getting out of control. If the not milk is running its same themes and same scripts just through this a different act in the play. 
Look, we're just scratching the surface right now of some of the troubles that OpenAI has been battling right now. We also had this little issue where the CTO, Mir Marathi, couldn't really answer the question about how the Sora model was actually trained. What data was used to train Sora? We used publicly available data and licensed data. Videos on YouTube? I'm actually not sure about that. Videos from Facebook, Instagram? You know, if they were publicly available, um, available, yeah, publicly available to use. There might be the data, but um, I'm, I'm not sure. Yeah. I'm not confident about it. What about Shutterstock? I know you guys have a deal with them. I'm, I'm just not going to go into the details of, of the data that was that was used. Well, Matt, maybe the interviewer just stumped her. It proves it's a legitimate interview and the questions weren't given to her in advance. She just didn't know, was taken off guard. Oh, sure. Mira, My, Myra, Mira Marathi. No, it's from Clear and Present Danger, the same Myra. The machine is still on, Myra. Mira Marathi. She's not a low-level employee. She doesn't take out the basura at the... She's the CTO. Did you catch that? That's in South Philly. That's a chief technological officer, Anthony. The chief technological officer, CTO, doesn't know how their own models, AI models, in this case, Sora, was trained doesn't know how the video AI model was trained. She has no idea. Can you say reality script and in the extreme? The not milk reality in this, what an old man would say, new century can't help itself. It always has to make its presentation like this. I searched a soap opera, Bold and the Beautiful, cast 1995, and this is what came back and I snagged it. It can't do it legitimately. legitimately. It has to, in some way, maybe to fulfill a contractual requirement, maybe to fulfill the yin and the yang. If it's going to move hard over here, the ridiculousness has to come back and fill in the gap on the other side per the yin and yang. It always has to do this. Maybe it's trying to move too quickly. Again, we're the only ones that can see it, so be it. It always has to play games can't be completely legitimate. It always has to break down when you look at it. That's wonderful news. The first grade truther, and you and I were there as well, when things are not quite right in the world and you start to examine this news story or this event or this mall event or school event or what happened on the big day, see, the only thing that makes sense then is it has to fit in the reality bookends. Everybody has to be in on it. The first grade, fifth grade truther, well, this Mira Marathi, uh, is, of course, uh, she knows exactly the dastardly things they're doing at OpenAI and what they're plotting and planning. And she's just, for some reason, I don't know why she's making herself look stupid. She thinks people actually believe she doesn't know how their Sora model was trained. Guys, as you do this for a long, long time, you know what I'm going to say? The people are not in on it the way you think. Everybody's in the know. Everybody has secret orders from the aluminum Ducati secret window. It's it's more the download. She might, as the CTO, who knows if this is the same, whatever the spiritual entity is or non-entity or NPC. As you do this a long time, almost nobody's in on it. She might not know how the Sora model was trained. It's not like, well, the men in black came out, Matt, and they told her, here's what you're going to say. You're going to embarrass yourself. The interviewer is going to ask this, and here's how you're going to answer. Everything's, to the first grade truther, everything's planned and arranged. There's no possible way with millions and millions of these, these, these breakdowns that we're seeing that it could all be arranged. It looks plotted and planned and scripted to us because we see right through the basic metaphysical reality trick. At her, she actually is probably answering legitimately. When you get to 12th grade truth or whatever, you see that it's more of a download or a frequency. Almost nobody is in on it, yet they are. It's a Truman show where everybody on the street in front of Truman believes their role, doesn't know their actors. This is where you get to as you go past third, fifth, ninth grade truth. Why can't they ever let someone like you or me interview these people from time to time? Why is it always the downloaded interviewing the downloaded, the zombie interviewing the zombie that doesn't get anyone anywhere? So I'd like Mi Mira Marira, Mira, Mar Mira, oh, oh, you, oh, you don't know. You don't know how your Sora model was trained. And you call yourself the front CTO. You're from Davenport, aren't you? You're the seat. And then she's, here's the reply. Here's what we would get out of her very quickly. Uh, uh, uh. 
Mira, 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 you call yourself a CTO? You aren't even fit to take out the basura. Why does the reality script always have to have these creepy characters that run these tech companies all cut from the same mold? Tell me he doesn't remind you of Zuck the Borg. Tell me it's just not the same. Look at, look at the picture off to the left. Now, this person seems li less of an alien. He's not going to be out there pushing his sweet baby razor. He's more normal. They, it's like in T2 or T3, they improved the Terminator. It was like a liquid model. It gets better. Whatever they present before the people as the CEO or president of companies gets better. But it's still, you could see it came from the original Zuck the Borg prototype, whatever this entity is. You can see it, can't you? It's okay. You can say it. They know. Back here for one more minute. It just so let me get this straight. The CTO of the leading technology company in the world gives the same answers that anybody on the street would give if they just were thrown into the position an hour before. There's a guy down the down the road. He, he bakes bread. It's great bread, but he doesn't know. He doesn't even know how to plug in a computer. You throw him in as the CTO of OpenAI, and this is what he's going to say. He said, "Well, I baked bread yesterday. I'm actually not sure how these language models work yet. I just got here." She's saying the same thing as the guy that bakes bread, who's only been one hour in the position. And okay, we 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 question it, but we're just one of those people. As we've talked about many times, it's not the not milk and the high level minions and operatives that piss us off the most. We expect evil to be evil. What frustrates us are our friends, our family, the people around us, the people that just can't see the obvious. Extend that to some people on YouTube. Uh, I watch the movie reviewers who can't see that these movies are all being made bad on purpose. Because as we've said, the third grade class down here at the elementary school could storyboard better than Disney has for every single movie. Um, Matt Wolf, if anything were real, he would stop and say something very strange is going on here. He, he used this sort of language. She's either lying, obviously lying, and we need to call her out on this. He's got like 600,000 subscribers. Or it just doesn't add up. It's very odd how this is playing out. He would start to see that things aren't exactly adding up. But but it, it turns into, for him, what the not milk uh, wants him to say. What, what the not milk wants people to get out of this. That, oh, these companies are in turmoil. Chaos, entropy. Which means the safety protocols on the, on the open AI and the large language models are going to be uh, even more compromised. Which means the AI is even more dangerous. Because, see, there's so much drama going on at these companies. How can they possibly focus on safety? So they're taking away exactly what the not milk wants them to take away from it. See, I, I should have mentioned this earlier. Of course, the drama in these companies, the bold and the beautiful, is created just for this purpose. They don't have their act together even personally. So how can we trust them to stay stay safe? How can we trust them to stay safe and, and to protect us from this AI that's so close to getting out of the bag? And guys, there will be a news event in the near future where the evil AI is attributed to whatever happened. Um, the electricity goes out in New York City for two days. There will be an event, but that doesn't mean uh, I was wrong that the AI is evil and this isn't all a script. If the electricity goes out for two days in New York because of an AI out of control attack or the AI can no longer be controlled by open AI and it's the chat GPT, to me that will all be part of the script. It will be just another version of what do we call the false, when you wave your you-know-what, um, it'll just be another version of that, another false wave your, I don't we don't have a good, Matt, your hobo code on the fly abilities suck this morning. Yeah, they do, but you know what I mean. So as we look into Sam Altman, does anybody think that it's going to get a little bit more normal? Oh, it wasn't as bad as we thought. Reality can't do that. It will always get stranger and stranger. Remember um, Jeff, who did a lot of research for us about a year ago, he would say every single time, I can't speak for him, but he would say this, every single time I looked into something, Matt, it got weirder and weirder. There was more weird numbers that popped up. It never leveled off to normal. It got stranger and stranger. What am I going to say? No real world could do that. As that happens, it's the best news of all time. 
So continuing to look into Uncle Sam Altman, it says here, according to the filings, Altman was paid $73,000 in 2022, a figure that is lower than the average salary of a system administrator. I found other things, something over here, wherever it said he didn't make anything. I mean, what? But this says, at least in 22, <laughs> he made $73,000. I mean, what? what is his colleagues on the board at the bottom? It says his colleagues, fellow co-founders Brockman, and Susk Tkever made much more, it says, made much more. Thro Brockman took home $113,000. Susk Kever made substantially more, $334,000. What kind of bot wrote this? Uh, that's poverty line level for those in Silicon Valley. The people that take out the Basura make more. People like Melvin and Bezo have cashed or converted stock options in a single day that converted to a hundred to four hundred million dollars a a day. I mean, in one transaction, they or billions. Their their net worth goes up and down billions per day. But he Altman. One thing over here says he didn't make anything. This he was paid seventy three thousand dollars. Who the heck knows? I'm not even going to dive into this, guys. Maybe, I mean, it's telling you an entity like this doesn't require food or money or not. maybe doesn't even drink water. Who knows? But I'm not surprised. What happened is what I expected. It got stranger and stranger. I'm not going to, and it would get worse if I kept looking into it. I'm not going to look into it. I'm only going to look into what I need to to make fun of it. The machine is still on, Mayura. It's Mira. Matt, not my, sorry. Is this the not milk script that's playing out? You, 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 they wouldn't stoop this low. But based on the breadcrumbs that we've been looking at, the, let's just play this out. There's no way they're going to do this, right? Sam, okay, Sam Altman, the top person, makes $70,000. Okay, he can probably, he sleeps in his car. You've heard all those stories about Silicon Valley. There was a guy that actually tried to rent a tent out in his backyard, but was shut down by the city of Sunnyvale because he didn't, the zoning was not classified as a hotel. He literally let the person use the garden hose. This is true. And it was still like $800 a month to let the guy live in a tent out back. So they all, based on what they make, they all must sleep in their car. Okay, she's lower than Sam Altman. She's just the CTO. So we, this has got to be in the ballpark. What do you think she makes? $25, $30 an hour? And then we know the slogan or the phrase, you get what you pay for. So when, say, the uh, uh, chat GPT LLM starts taking the, the power and electricity grid down from New York down through Atlanta, they pay, you get what you pay for. How could you expect real safety and protocols when these people can barely make enough to survive? They're living in the car. Sam Altman makes $70,000. She makes $20 an hour. The uh, California, I think, just passed laws. If you start at McDonald's hourly, it's roughly the same. So they can't be expected to take safety seriously making this sort of money. They should unionize, I think. They, they, they shouldn't have to sleep in their cars, the CEOs and the board of um, AI companies that are um, the breakthrough or groundbreaking uh, technology via their large language models. I feel bad for these people. I really do. But when the, the script, when it plays out, you know, and the, I, look, guys, I don't, I'm just joking. I don't think, I don't, <laughs> I think they are at some point going to have an event with an AI that's all part of the script, of course. Not a black swan. Oh, it's a black swan. A bl Nobody could have seen that coming. It's a black... No, not only did we see it coming, we predicted it. We predicted it as part of their fake script. So it's not a black swan. It was predicted. They are going to do this. They need to get everybody more fearful of the AI. So then... The, why do they do that, Matt? So then they can put in more controls and take more liberties. Their, their, their goals, it's always the same sentence. And then you don't think they're going to stoop to these people barely made enough to survive. I don't think Sam Altman's living in his car, but you don't think they would do that, right? There's something very strange going on with how reality has to make this presentation where all these other tech companies are, you know, these people are making hundreds of millions of dollars a week in terms of stock option conversions, but these people at OpenAI, the leading company for the LLMs, are all making uh, nothing, and the bot is writing articles that the one guy is really raking it in at three hundred thousand dollars a year, what the guys? I mean, if you would have told us <laughs> that the reality would morph into this sort of thing uh, that we study and laugh at daily, nobody would have believed it. I mean, and let it continue.
to break down. Let it continue to embarrass itself. I'll be there to make fun of it at every step of the way. Thanks for listening.